Okay, ladies and gentlemen, introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He hails from Lincoln. He's 29 years old, stands 6 feet 2 inches tall, and weighing at 82 kilos. He fights out of Lincoln, S2C8, and tonight is his debut in the cage. Let's hear it for Stuart Smith. He hails from Melton Mowbray. He's 32 years old, stands 5 feet 5 inches tall and weighed in at 80 kilos. He fights for hard knocks and tonight is his debut in the cage. Let's hear it for Kevin So we move up to the middleweight division. You see debutant Stuart Smith in the grey and red shorts against Kevin Fall in the camouflage trunks. Yeah, we've got Smith fighting out of Lincoln MMA. Kevin Crazy Fall fighting out of Hard Knocks MMA in Melton. Smith opens with a barrage of knees there. And he's taken some hard knocks from those knees. Unbelievable strikes there. He did the right thing to close the distance. And he's coming forward aggressively trying to get that takedown. He's nearly knocked our cameraman off his spot there as he shifted the entire ring a couple of inches to the right-hand side of the hall. So Smith's got a, uh, a guillotine loosely locked in while still piling the knees into uh, Fool's midriff. I will tell you this, Ben Fall is an incredibly strong guy. I rolled with him last week. For his for his height, he's very, very strong. Very stocky build that we see out of him. He does look incredibly naturally strong, but he's got to be careful leaving that neck in those positions. Smith looking to land those knees, but also he's got the head in that locked position, trying to feed his own arm underneath. A lot of chokes available from this position. There is. It's a very dangerous position to be in, and there we see Fall's head. It's not locked down now. He's freed. He's eating those knees to the body. So Smith playing a very clever game here. He's got the height and reach advantage. So he's using his best assets here. Throwing those knees is going to have much more power. A little foot stomp there from Paul. Oh, a big knee up the middle there. And you're right, the taller man always going to find it easier in the clinch. Those knees are going to have le less far to travel. That's right. I've fought many a six foot four monster. In fact, one guy, six foot six, and I just couldn't get near him without getting kneed in the face. Some more knees coming in from Smith. He's working really well, and now to the body. Smith's got to be careful he doesn't gas. That's a lot of energy he's expelled in the first minute of this round, minute and a half. And we talk about that adrenaline dump, obviously, debut fighters. Once all that wears off, it's a very real situation to be under those lights and realise you've got a lot more to go. But fighters exchanging strikes here. Now we can see Smith's locked in a, a very loose arm triangle while still throwing the knees down into Fool's midriff and thighs, trying to destroy his lead leg. You can see Fool trying to defend that leg. He's just not managing to, to, to get the defence in, stop those knees hammering home. Smith playing a very clever game with that, giving his opponent something else to think about with having his head in that position. And a huge pick up and slam from Fool. There we go, there's that power I was on about. And now in a, a top in a choke position. Very hard to see from our vantage point exactly. It just basically looked like a, almost a top headlock. That was a very nice attempt at a reversal there from Smith, but fantastic base from Kevin Fall. And here's where the tables have turned. I mean, we talk about being the shorter man, not as advantageous in the clinch. On the ground in the top position, he's a very stocky guy. He's going to have a lot, a lot more of a settled base. Better centre of gravity, he's going to be a hard man to throw. What a cracking first round, we're going to go to round two. What an action-packed first round. OK, so we're ready for round two. Had a little look over into uh, the Hard Knocks corner there in the break, Ben. Kevin Fall was smiling. He was enjoying that first round. Yeah. Smith. Smith again with that knee. And there's that takedown again from Kevin Fall. Using that power and bowling forward. I mean, having spent a long period of the first round in that clinch position, he knows that it's not somewhere he wants to stay now. Hence why he's coming forward and looking to progress now in the half guard position, but very open. 
It is an open half guard. He would have had some advice. He had Simon uh, Hull and James Hull in his corner there. And I know exactly what they would have been telling him. Don't clinch with this man. Take him down. That's what he's done. So, is Smith going to progress from this half guard? Is he going to look to sweep? Is he going to look to claim full guard? Looks like he is. It looks like he's got the guard position there. The legs are through. I believe it's both competitors' debut here today, so we are going to see a little bit of that first fight. Red miss, but there we go. Triangle came out of nowhere from Smith. Really did well and threw it out there, but just can't hold on to it. Hold it the right thing. Got himself out of there, postured off, got his head right off out of the situation. Yeah, crazy fool just stood up and pulled the head out. Smith is now on his back, so fool's got a nice side control position. Forearm on face. He's just going to be grinding his opponent with that. It's a really wearing situation when you're the man on the bottom. You've got to support someone else's weight as well as trying to explode out. Especially when you're supporting their weight through their forearm going all the way across your throat. It's not a pleasant position to be in at all. So, full playing a clever game. He's controlling his opponent. He needs to transition to, to really look for a submission attempt. Is Smith going to try and come out the back door? And he has done very well done and now he's got his man in a good position. If he can flick his other leg over the top, maybe he can try and get the hooks in, but he's corner screaming knee. And there's a big knee to the stomach. I, I think Smith just wants to break Kevin Fall in half. And there's a huge knee, he's leaning everything into those. Or maybe is the choke there. If he can stand up, it looks like he's got the rear naked choke it's in. On, and the it's tap. on, straight on, super deep. Fantastic comeback, and what a nice win there for, for Stuart Smith from Lincoln MMA. After two minutes and 14 seconds of round two, your winner, due to a tap out by rear naked choke from the blue corner, Stuart Smith. Well, let's hear it for a very gallant runner up. Let's hear it for Kevin Fall.